Hello and welcome to Call of Cthulhu, the game loosely based on the tabletop RPG, which I've actually played a little bit of. It's fun, it's a good game. Uh, we're about to enter madness. Uh, specifically, we're going to enter the story of a detective in the 1920s investigating the death of a woman and her family in mysterious and uncertain circumstances, which is to say Cthulhu did it. I uh, may or may not have already tried a couple of recordings of this uh, to no avail due to audio issues, video issues, and general incompetence on my part. But I'm going to do it now. It's going to happen. This is, this is going to be the recording that actually works. Yeah, ignore that. So, Pierce Investigations Agency, Boston. Boston, 1924. Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He is now a private detective who has trouble finding a case able to lift him from his torpor. Pierce must find a new case quickly, or the risk of losing his license. Enter madness again. I'm just going to keep entering madness, apparently. If I am mad, it is mercy. May the guards pity the man who, in his callousness, can remain sane to the hideous end. H.P. Lovecraft. A charming fellow. I've read a few uh, Lovecraft stories. Oh, yeah. Yep. This is fish hell. Uh, Lovecraft has a definite... I would say he had a, a definite fear of the ocean and probably just assumed it was full of hideous creatures that wanted to suck his face off with tentacles. Yeah, please get out of fish hell. It's not good. Thank you for that. There's entrails everywhere, seaweed. I don't know if this place is under water or if it's just near an ocean or something. There's stuff hanging up everywhere. This is just a lovely place to be. Okay, that door is locked very firmly, as you can see by the chain. Yeah, need a lantern to look at that. Have a lantern. But before we pick that up, I just want to take a look down here and uh, see what's going on. Oh, lovely. I'm just going to leave. <laughs> I've seen that thing three times now. Alright, we've got some bolt cutters. Uh, let's move on. I'm just glad I found out that my recordings were bugging out reasonably early so it didn't ruin the whole game for me. God? Is that you, God? You sound terribly creepy today. What a putrid offering. Yeah, it's pretty putrid. Don't fight. You have been chosen. I don't need to fight or run. There is nothing coming after me. Nothing at all. Or is there? No, there's nothing. Behold. I'm beholding. Everything has already been written. A lot of cultists in Cthulhu stuff. But perhaps you will attempt to change your destiny. Yeah, it's my old buddy, Squid Guy. See, he was checking on us to make sure we were okay. He's a good fella. That's good people right there. Okay. I hate whiskey. Welcome to my office. Uh, it's pretty good there. Alright. Yeah, nothing in there. I used to be an avid reader. Yeah, I can tell. There's shit ton of books in here. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. Maybe you should have a better agency. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. The husband never understood that his wife had left him. He 
kept on calling me weeks after the investigation had been closed. Don't know if I'm going to keep up the uh, grizzled detective voice for long. The good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. The bar owner who hired me didn't like the way I closed this case. But when you're already outside the law, there's not a lot one can do against the private detective who's got proof against you. I should get rid of all this stuff. You probably should. It's a bit messy. That's not a shelf. Been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. Pierce Investigation Agency. The doctor can all repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay. But I know that if I stop, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. Despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams, but they are different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creature is calling me? It's not nameless, it's called Cthulhu. Alright. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Alright, so this is the skill tree for all the character points. Uh, I've been for it a few times. I've decided to go with medicine, which represents your medical knowledge. Proving the score increases your chance of determining the dosage of a drug, of making a diagnosis, or of expressing your understanding of a medical problem, which I know for a fact comes in handy fairly quickly. Uh, I'm also going to go with eloquence, which represents your ability to influence those you talk to by your power of speech. Improving this score increases your chances of convincing or manipulating during discussions, which just definitely will come in handy, I'm sure. Uh, I'm also going to get a couple of points in spot hidden with my last two points. Spot hidden represents your ability to find hidden objects. Improving the skill increases your chances of finding hidden objects, an undiscovered object will not appear in game. Which, yeah, I don't really want to miss stuff. How many do you need? Oh, it's six to get the next one. Okay. Uh, psychology represents your knowledge of human behavior. Improving the skill increases your chances of understanding the motivations of a person based on his or her behavior or on the analysis of objects. Uh, investigation represents your investigating talents. Improving this skill increases your chances of understanding past past events by analyzing a crime scene in, or an object and of picking locks. Uh, occultism represents your knowledge of the occult sciences. Improving this skill increases your chance of determining the use and origin of occult artifacts and of expressing your knowledge of the myth. Uh, strength represents your ability to call on your physical power. Improving this skill increases your chance of forcing doors or mechanisms or abusing violence, physical or verbal, during interactive discussions. So there you go. What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, do you still... That sounded vaguely threatening to me. I'm coming. <clears throat> Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl, she is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. 
The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. Is that you, Squid Guy? What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Yes. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. All right, let's take a look at the file. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. A shipping label. Some of it is unreadable, but I can make out part of the address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater. The police report. It says that the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decide on a domestic incident, but they nevertheless insist on Sarah Hawkins' mental frailty. Why? A press cutting. An article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Darkwater. They live a recluse life there with their only son, Simon. Fair enough. What's this symbol on the man's chest? It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? I'll tell you what I make of it. Yeah, you shouldn't take this pain lightly. Meaning lightly. could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. I uh, read about a mental fragility in the report. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had... Visions, everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. So, artists having visions was a recurring theme in Cthulhu mythos. Uh, I think in Call of Cthulhu itself, there was a guy who made a statue of Cthulhu, and people were just confused as to where he got the idea from. He told them what came from a dream, and he had this dream about Cthulhu just striding into a city and everyone going mad. Her husband was a big deal on the island, but the police are sticking to the accident theory, though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. Okay. Now where should the water. Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Dark water holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. Yeah, find out the about sender's the label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Ah, that's everything I, I need. I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of 
promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. I mean, you could just not do this. Dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Dramatic music for a book. Uh, this is just a medicine book. I think this is how you upgrade your medicine. Skill tree. Yeah. Yeah, it says you can only upgrade it by objects discovered in the environment. So yeah, I assume you pick up enough of them, it will get you'll get a level up in it. Dark water is off the coast of Boston, but I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century, but it seems to have been shunned since then. Uh, Darkwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century and is still rich with many memories lost by left by its lost tribes. Don't let the romanticism of these moving evidences of such naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. A gigantic creature still illuminates the walls of long abandoned caves. Was it a sea or a dream god? No one knows. But today's inhabitants, the sons and daughters of the proud whale hunters, Still remember the mystery, mysterious and tumultuous story of their small land off the coast of Massachusetts. Okay, fair enough. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. Yep, let's do that. Can I take my hat? Can I, can I have the hat? I can't have the hat. Damn it. Run away. Pierce took the Hawkins case. The cursed artist is accused of having caused the fire that killed her, fam her and her family. As the only clue, she left her father a disturbing painting on the shipping label, an address, a warehouse set on the docks of the island of Darkwater. The place seems to be the starting point for Pierce's investigation. Isn't this cheery? Don't know if I want to be there, but we're almost there. This looks like a charming little town. 
Stay on with board. lovely, friendly characters. There's guys coming to unload. Uh, full of eloquent dialogue. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank Darkwater. You. So, what wind brought you? Uh, that one over there. Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife? Yes, she used Sarah the word Hawkins. landlubber. A uh, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Okay. Uh, let's go talk over here first. That's messed up. Hey, Sullivan. That is a big kill killer whale, I believe. You see how old this thing is. If we force it too much, we'll break everything. It can't do that. But it's only a fish. A fish? You I'm not sure no whales are oh, fish. Don't there might be mammals on the shore. Or you'll pay for it for sure. Okay, that's enough. Step back and let us do our job. Yeah, let us do our job. That's you. No way to treat an back up. Oh, yeah. Take that hat off. He's gonna get us into trouble. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. Yeah, they, they get up some of nothing. Very agitated about a dead animal. <laughs> You're telling me. These fools think that putting the whale back in the water will bring about the end of the world. <laughs> They're superstitious. If only you knew. They only listen to Captain Fitzroy. And not always. And you. What brings you to our island? Vacation. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36. Darkwater Harbor. <laughs> I like you, so I'll be frank with you. Don't go near the place. Don't try to get in. Why? Because I told you so. Learn to accept some friendly advice. Now, please. Allow me to do my job. You can't I accept your friendly You're advice and I will ignore it completely and it's head straight to the warehouse once I've finished There's talking to everyone. Coming. Right. So I upgraded my medicine bad. specifically to see if I got a different response Don't here because before it, he couldn't figure out what was going on. I'm wondering if now the he has something to go just about. Beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Killer whales have few predators. And there are no sharks in these waters. What creature could possibly have done this? Don't put that beast hmm. back in the water. I don't think he said that thing about the predators last time. So it did actually have an effect. That's what it's pretty cool. Oh, lantern. Can I have that? It's glowing creepily. Oh, I can't take it. It was really creepily glowing. What is that? I've seen more ominous pubs. You fucking what, mate? Hey, be careful. And now she is smoking a cigarette for an evil cigarette holder. Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my yeah, bar, let's get him a drink. Serve troublemakers. You said that guy. Yeah. Yeah. You saw it just like me. That bum deserved a lesson. Yeah, but he's regular, and you're not. I can see that you and I are off to a bad start. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. 
And that's interesting. See, the first time I came in here, I tried doing the eloquent response, and he didn't like it. He got upset with me, and was like, I, I'm not going to serve you any drinks. Like, you come in here just telling on people, basically. But this time, he didn't say any of that, so... Uh, no I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? <laughs> Take it, that'll be the evil lady with the cigarette holder. Let's find out about Dark Wolf. Uh, why the Stranded whale? whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. Fair is. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Uh, it's true that strange not speaking yeah, Her style surprised. made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah, well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. I'm not sure I want to see them, to be honest. Her vision. Was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? Interesting point. I've got what I need. Anything else? Uh, that's that. Oh, you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams. And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Say no more. That'll be all for now. Sorry, I'm yawning. Apparently I'm very, very tired. All right, off to see Fitzroy, the harbour master. Hey, there you are. I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. Will do, Skipper. You're going to rummage for your shit first. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman. Captain, the terms of our agreement are clear. Keep your men under control. You cannot afford to provoke us. No need to answer this message. Just make your payment to the carrier. Cat. I'll be sure to talk to him about it. Fishing equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. Screw that. This blackboard hasn't been used in a long while. Very true. A Scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. Yeah, I think we saw that on the way in. Hey, the Learning of Medicine Volume 2. Let me see what, what difference that's made. Ah, I see, the percentage has gone up. That's interesting. So you get about 2% per book. I think I have to find a lot of books throughout this game. I wonder if that's just... The, the light is illuminating the mist around it and that mist is actually all around us this entire time this man and Fitzroy could be twins and this photograph a man who looks like Captain Fitzroy is posing on a bridge of a ship he has a wooden leg 
This wouldn't look. What a macabre souvenir. Yeah. Nothing on that one. Okay, we're going. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. That's all I'll get from them. Yeah, only a few dates are still legible. 1890, 1907, and a partial date. The rest of the document is blacked out. Who would want this information to be hidden? Yeah, plenty of people, I'm sure. Just gonna creep up behind him. Hang on. Come on. You didn't see me. You never saw me coming. Aha! From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale, even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on Darkwater. Tell me what I can do to help you. Uh, the manifests are unreadable. Been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? Yeah, what are they I know that Charles living? Hawkins was descended from a family of ship owners, and the island's fishing industry was hit badly. Indeed, we specialized in whaling. But no whalers went out to sea after the miraculous catch of 1847. So where did the Hawkins family get its money? Well, from what Charles inherited, I presume. Although, these dates on the manifests could indicate that he had contracts of another kind. With whom, I wonder? True. Uh, it's about Dark War. I found a cat. threatening letter signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being black? Do what I want. Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that, but she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. That is. Yeah, a photograph. I'm I was looking at your that. photograph. One of the men in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Yeah, Your father. John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. Yeah, I've already seen it, buddy. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. I examined its wounds. I know of no creature able to cause them. And I took you for a detective. Believe me when I say that these wounds are significant. Come, come. You've only just arrived on dark water. And already you think like a sailor. I didn't have that option last time either. Apparently, because I had better medicine skill, I could tell that. The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? Oh, it's still <laughs> in the waters. You think we you should know have it. kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. Okay, that's enough about that. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Fair enough. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? It yeah. belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Yeah, I shall be on done. my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. Alright. So. Uh, first episode, we've got a mysterious fire that claimed the lives of a whole family. 
We are here on this godforsaken hellhole of an island with that giant goddamn spire so tall I can't even see the top. Although it is really misty. Uh, we're, we're going to be exploring Warehouse 36 to figure out what the hell happened. Hopefully. They are hauling this whale off back into the ocean where some hideously huge creature is probably going to eat it again. Is he actually going to pull it in? Come on, you can do it, buddy. No, you can't do it. Alright. Anyway, that'll do for the first episode. So, I hope you're enjoying it. I'm thinking it's going to get a lot scarier and a lot more interesting. I mean, it's a bit of a slow start. But I think it'll be worth coming back for the next bit. So, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, have a good one.